Hi kids, welcome to Buddhism. Leeds International School, Primary 3, Second Midterm, Lesson Number 11 and Topic, Tittira Jataka. Reference, The Buddhist Way of Life, written by Vinita Jinasena, based on Government Curriculum. Let's see the content of this presentation. Learning outcomes. Who are elders? How we should treat elders? Introduction to Jataka story. Explanation of the Tittira Jataka. Difficult words and their meanings. And questions. Learning outcomes. Read and understand the story. Understand who are elders, understand how we should treat elders, and write down answers for the given questions. Okay, children, let's see who are elders. What do you mean by elders? Yes, elders are people who are older than someone. Okay, let's see how we should treat elders. Then what can we do to treat elders? Yes, we should respect them. Then we should help them when in need. Never speak harshly to them. Like that, there are so many ways that we can treat our elders. Okay kids, let's see what is a Jataka story. These Jataka stories were preached by the Buddha on different occasions. These are the stories about the Buddha's previous birth. Explanation of the story of Tittira Jataka Dear children, Treating the elders and respecting the elders is one of the main features of a society. Even in the time of the Buddha, there were examples where the respect for the elders was lost by the less intelligent monks. One day, the Buddha saw some monks didn't respect elders. So, to explain the value of respecting elders, the Buddha told this story to those monks. This is a story of Buddha's one of previous births when he was born as a bird named Watu. Okay kids, today we are going to learn about Tittira Jataka. Let's see what are the characters in this story. There's a bird named Watu. And there's an elephant. And there's a monkey. And there's a nougat tree also in this story. Okay children, let's see the story. Once upon a time in an area of a land, Covered with a group of thick growth trees of Himalaya in India, there lived three animals. Who were they? Yes, a monkey, an elephant and a small bird. What was the name of the bird? Yes, Watu. They lived in harmony. But there was no special respect for each other. Lived with a sense of humor. One day, these three friends decided to respect the elders. So, they wanted to find who was the eldest one among them. They decided to check the eldest one according to their age. The nougat tree 
they selected as the checkpoint, which was nearby them. One who saw the nougat tree at what age was the deciding factor of checking one's elderliness. One day, they were sitting under the nougat tree. Then the bird and the monkey asked the elephant, Since when do you know about this great nougat tree? Then the elephant told, When I was a kid, I used to walk through the jungle. At that time, the nougat tree was so short that when I would walk, over the plant. It touched my stomach below. Then the water bird and the elephant asked from the monkey, What do you remember about this great nougat tree? Then the monkey told, When the nougat tree was small, I could sit on the ground and eat the tender leaves. Then the elephant and monkey asked from the bird what it can remember about the nougat tree. Then the bird said there used to be a rotten nougat tree there. Now it's not there. It's dead. One day I ate nougat fruit from that tree and this nougat tree is the result of the seed that I had put after eating nougat fruit from that tree. When the elephant and monkey was walking, the plant, walking over the plant, it had grown. But the plant had grown because of the seed that bird had put after eating nougat fruit from another tree. So we can take the bird as the planter of the nougat tree. You all know the planter should be the eldest person. Listening to the story, they decided that Titira was the eldest. Titira means the bird. We called him as Watu. Others respected Titira from that day. Titira, the Watu bird, received due respect from the two friends and lived till death. Difficult words and their meanings. Wood. An area of a land covered with a group of thick growth trees. Underneath. Below or under. Okay children, now I think you understood the story. Here we come across some of the questions from the story. Now you can take your textbook and writing book near to you and write down answers for the following question. First one, what are the characters we can see in this story? Second one, finally who selected as the eldest one? Why did he select as the eldest one? Third one, what are the two names of the small bird? Fourth one. What did you learn from this story? Fifth question. Fill in the missing letters. First one. E L D blank R S. Second one. S T blank M A C H. Third one, U-N-D-E-R-N blank 
A T H. Fourth one D blank A T H. Fifth one R E C E blank V E. Thank you for listening. Have a nice day.